This is the first in a set of videos on factoring polynomials. A polynomial is an algebraic expression containing two or more terms. For example, 8x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x is a polynomial of three terms. A term is a product of constants and variables and the variables will be raised to whole number exponents. So if the variable has a fractional exponent or a negative exponent, then technically you do not have a polynomial. Here's another example of a polynomial. 6x squared y minus 2xy. This is a polynomial with two terms. All right, to factor polynomials, the very first step that you always attempt to do to factor polynomials. The very first step is to take out the greatest common factor. Call it the GCF. Greatest common factor. Alright, so let's look at my first polynomial that I put down. The greatest common factor is whatever every term has in common. Well, every term has x for a factor, so I can pull the x out. Now, when I do that, I'm really dividing by x. This is using the distributive property backwards. So instead of multiplying, we are dividing. We're di dividing out what's in common. So I divide each one of these by x because each one of these terms has an x in it. If I divide 8x cubed by x, I get 8x squared negative 3x squared divided by x is negative 3x, and negative 4x divided by x is negative 4. That is factoring that polynomial. Here, with my other example, if we look at these two, both of these numbers have a 2 in common. They each, each term has an, at least 1x, and each term has at least 1y. So I can pull out a 2xy. I'm factoring out the 2xy, so I divide each term by 2xy. When I divide 6x squared y by 2xy, I get 3x. And when I divide negative 2xy by 2xy, I get negative 1. We're not subtracting the 2xy, we're dividing. If I start with two terms, I will have two terms in my parentheses start with three terms. I have three terms in my parentheses. This is very important. One other important factoring tip is sometimes we have a binomial that looks like this. And of course, neither one of those terms has anything in common. But sometimes we want to turn it around. We would rather it say x minus 3 instead of 3 minus x. We can achieve that by factoring out a negative 1. If I divide each one of those by negative 1, then I'll have negative 3 here, and negative x divided by negative 1 is positive x, or negative 1 times x minus 3. I have factored out a negative 1 just to change this to its additive inverse. This is very important with some other things that we do later on.